Hey everybody, it's Violent. Uh, welcome to Wacky Whatever Wednesdays. We've elongated the name. Uh, it was Whatever Wednesdays, and then it went to Wacky Wednesdays, and now it is Wacky Whatever Wednesdays. Uh, it's basically a show where I just kind of sit in front of the camera and talk. Um, uh, you could kind of call it a vlog, but it's not really a vlog. We'll call it a, a video log if you want. Um, but it's just me talking about things that interest me and things that I hope and assume interest uh, uh, my followers and people who watch and stuff. So, um, Comic Con uh, is in full effect. Uh, it's been great uh, witnessing all the things happening there. Um, you know, I have, I'm not there at, 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 you know, not there for Comic Con, but, uh, you know, I've been looking at all the stuff on the internet and all that stuff. Um, the trailers and stuff that have come out uh, are fantastic. Um, the new uh, Batman vs. Superman, you know, DC Films, Warner Brothers, way to go, way to kick some serious tail with that, love that whole thing. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I didn't think it was, you know, you know, kind of grab me. I knew right away, um, to me, DC is a better product than Marvel. Um, DC has uh, more tangible storylines, they have more, uh, more of a grip, whereas Marvel kind of is more fantastic fantasy you know, this is more, it could happen, as far as I'm concerned, like something, you know, it, to me it's more realistic, versus, you know, every Marvel movie being a spin-off of Iron Man, <laughs> Avenger, let's be honest, Avengers 1 was what, Marvel's uh, Iron Man 3, <laughs> you know, if you like Marvel, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend, you know, you like what you like, and I like what I like. So, um, as, let's see what else, um, oh, the, uh, the, the, um, Suicide Squad trailer, saw that, um, you know, Jared Leto, I don't see him as the Joker, I'm not really big on the whole Suicide Squad thing, um, I like the comic, don't get me wrong, the comic's great and fantastic, I think some of the people they picked for the roles are... A little iffy, uh, but um, you know I'll give it a shot because it is DC. I'll, I'll go and see it, uh, or maybe we'll just me and the wife will just rent it when it when it comes out uh, in theaters. I don't think we'll actually go and see it. The one that we are going to see is Batman vs Superman. That's a hands down, um, and she'll she'll nod the camera in agreement with that. Yes, indeedy. Um, another one, uh, some other stuff that came out was uh, behind the scenes kind of featurette. Uh, it's about three minutes and forty one seconds, I think of the uh, Star Wars Episode 7, which was really fantastic uh, to see. He gave you an idea of, you know, what it went through and, and what they did to, uh, you know, prepare and make this film. Um, you know, what it must have been like to... Uh, to be on that set must have been... I don't know. Like, if I would have been there, it would have been like a, a, a childhood dream. Uh, it would have been so fantastic to see it. You know, I mean, people talk about, oh, you know, the, the first trilogy, you know, and then they talk about the the, you know, prequels, and it's like, yeah, you know, the, 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 the one they did, you know, episode one, two, and three, it's episode seven, it's the return of, you know, characters you loved and you knew, and it's just fantastic, and it would have been just, you know, to see, like, Harrison Ford on set, uh, standing next to, you know, just, just even standing next to, to, you know, Carrie would have been just, I would have just, fanboy, you know, fangasm. Just like, oh, yeah, I want to die. It, it would have been great. Strike me dead right there. I'd have been happy. Um, huge Star Wars nut. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else is going on. Oh, they uh, uh, showed some of the new black figures uh, at Comic Con, which were really actually cool. The uh, the new um, the new uh, Stormtrooper figure looks really cool. Uh, I got to give it some credit. It looked really nice. I love the silver they added to the guns. I think that's really. Uh, it kind of bounces out at you. It makes the guns look a little more realistic. Um, and the whole look, the new uh, style and everything of uh, those Stormtroopers, I really dig. I think it's a, it's kind of a new, uh, uh, you know, twist on the Stormtrooper. And I think it's something that the Stormtrooper, that the Stormtrooper itself needed. Their, their helmets were too bulky and these look more slim and more like they could actually work. You know, these Stormtroopers might actually be able to hit something. We'll see. Um, other than that, uh, Comic Con's been pretty cool, man. You know, uh, if you haven't checked any of that stuff out, by all means, hop on the old uh, intro net there, the old interweb, and uh, take yourself a, a little gander. You'll uh, you won't regret it. It's really, really nice. 
Uh, there's lots of cool stuff happening and lots of great stuff coming out of it. So Harrison Ford himself was there. You know, he was quoted as saying, you know, he thought it would be weird to go back on the set, you know, of Star Wars film, but he said uh, it was fantastic. He enjoyed every minute of it, and uh, he loved being back. So if that doesn't tell you anything, that's that's you know, right there is beautiful. Um, let's see what else is going on lately. There's the whole debacle with the um, Confederate flag thing. Everyone's you know pissed off about that. So, you know, oh why why can't we, you know. Why can't we have the Confederate flag and stuff like that? You lost. The only flag that you got, the only flag that mattered from Confederates was the white one you waved when you lost. That's it. As far as I'm concerned, as as a as a patriot of the United States of America, your flag should have been abolished, burned, and done for at that point. Um, you know, you tried to you know you tried to secede from the United States and you lost. <laughs> that sucks. You know, deal with it, get over it. I understand that, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are like, you know, it's it's Southern way of life. It's not a Southern way of life. Um, the American flag is your way of life. That's that's your way. That's that's all you need. You only need one flag. You don't need two flags. Uh, stand by that flag. You know, there's people wiping their ass on the Internet with the American flag right now. Stand by the American flag. Don't stand by the Confederate flag. The Confederate flag is just a, it's something that should have just, we should just ignore. It's ridiculous. It's, an, it's a complete weird topic in the first place. There's other things going on in the United States and other things going on in the world that we should really concern ourselves with instead of whining and griping over a flag. Especially a flag that means nothing to America. Honestly, it really doesn't. It means you lost. There. Deal with it. That's my opinion on it. I, I understand it. other people may have an opinion as well. If you do, comment below. Let me know. You know, Let me have it. Do what you gotta do. Um, let's see what else is going on in the news lately. Lots of cool stuff, uh, you know, happening uh, on, uh, you know, YouTube. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff happening on, um, you know, the rest of uh, the rest of the internet. Um, you know, been been seeing a lot of stories and stuff like that. My son's wedding uh, went really well. Uh, it was fantastic. We went there, had a great time. Um, you know, got to see some people I hadn't seen in a while. Uh, Hung out with him. His new wife is is extremely lovely. Um, glad that she's part of the family. Um, she's a welcomed addition. Uh, my family uh, welcomed her, you know, very much so. Everyone has. Uh, she's great, you know, and uh, I'm glad for him and hope that he, um, you know, gets uh, through it all. You know, has that good marriage and, and you know, I pray that he doesn't, you know, uh, have any problems uh, later on in life with, with the marriage. See, other than that, uh, 4th of July happened. That was great. Fun time. We barbecued up a storm. Ribs, whole nine yards. Uh, we ate uh, like little piggies. Uh, and then sat outside and, and did some fireworks with the kids and stuff like that. That was fantastic. Um, let's see. Went and saw Jurassic World. Excellent movie. Uh, I recommend it for everyone. Uh, lots of other movies coming out. Uh, Minions today apparently is, you know... Minions came out this last weekend, a huge thing. I know kids all over the world are like, <gasps> you know, Minions. I honestly want to see it. It looks cute. It looks better. It looks better to me than the Despicable Me movies. Um, the Despicable Me movies were okay, you know, but, you know, it's like you really saw the second one, and, and let's be honest, for the Minions themselves, you really didn't come back for Gru. Uh, if you say you did, you're a liar. <laughs> You know, you came back for those cute little banana minions. You know, those little tiny sons of guns. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, oh, I know he won't see this, but uh, to my son Jacob, uh, happy birthday, buddy. I didn't, uh, you know, get to, um, I will, you know, well, we're, we're not on speaking terms at this point. Uh, but I do miss and love you and wish you a happy birthday. It was on the 11th. Um, uh, a present is coming. Um, it's really nice. You'll like it. Uh, it's got some decent stuff in it. Uh, I know you like Zelda and stuff like that. So, on top of that, hopefully, you'll find us on the internet or on YouTube and be like, well, that's my dad. And you'll be like, hey, that's cool. Uh, if not, you know, that's all right. Um, Monday was a great show uh, for Hey, That's My Toy. I uh, did uh, two toys I got um, from Schmultzy. 
is what, is what we're, we decided to call our schmaltzy. Uh, they're killer. They're up on the shelves, you know, chilling and stuff like that. Uh, Friday will be a pretty good show. We're going to try and space out some good stuff. Um, I might do a different kind of review than a Dollar Tree review. I might do something... Um, something different. I might actually take some seriousness and do something different. Or I might actually cook for you. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing some sort of a preparation or something of one of the recipes that I do. So we'll see how it goes and and see what uh, me and the old uh, wife come up with. Uh, you know, because, I mean, Dollar Tree's fun and stuff like that, but I, you know, I, it, I'm kind of getting a little, it's getting, to me, it's getting a little stale. It's the flavors are gross. <laughs> so maybe I'd like to make something for, for you guys that you guys might like. So I might like to cook for you. Um, so if so, you know, we'll let you guys know on uh, my Facebook. And uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Tell me how you feel. If any of this offended you, if any of this made you happy, smile, giggle, uh, fart, any of it, just just let me know, you know, um, some feedback's great, I'm finally up to 20 subscribers, I know that sounds probably pathetic to everyone else, but to me it's a big deal, um, you know, to be at least at, at the 2-0, um, that's pretty cool, uh, hopefully one day I'll be at, uh, you know, 80k or something would be sweet to have that many subscribers, but you never know, you know, maybe one of these days I'll like come on here and do some giant rant and you know, someone will see it and they'll make me like the Star Wars kid or something. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> I'll come on here and fake a lightsaber duel with myself. Um, other than that, you know, uh, just check out my Facebook page, everything else, and uh, have a good uh, rest of the week. And uh, don't forget to uh, hang out, live life, and love your family. And I'll talk to you guys on Friday. Have a good one.